Second part of your serve is your toss and your backswing. From your stance, both arms separate, they drop down at the same time, and then they come up at the same time. Coaches call this motion down together, up together. If we focus on my toss for a minute, when my arms separate, my tossing arm drops down and then it comes straight up and I release the ball at about the top of my head. And after I release the ball, I continue to raise my tossing arm until it's pointed straight up and I leave it here until I swing forward. Now, when I toss the ball, what I'm looking for is no spin on the tennis ball. That's the easiest way to control your toss if you don't have any spin on the ball. And the way to do that is to just open your fingers up when you toss the ball. That should give you as little spin as possible. Also, when you toss the ball, you want to toss it so it's about one to two feet higher than your contact point. And if you didn't hit it, if you let it fall down, it would bounce about a foot or so into the court and in line with your front foot. If we now take a look at my hitting arm, when my arms separate and drop down, my hitting arm begins to rise, but I leave my palm facing the court. So even though I'm holding the tennis racket, my palm is down, and I continue to bring my racket up until it gets to this position, which is called the L position because my racket and my arm look very similar to an L, and this position is going to allow you to swing forward correctly later in your serve. Now, if I put these two arm motions together, both arms separate, they drop down together, and then they rise together until my tossing arm is pointed straight up and my racket and my hitting arm look like an L. As I begin my service motion, my arms separate and they drop down together, and we're first going to focus on my tossing arm. Once my arm drops down, it rises up and I release the ball at about the top of my head, and after I release the ball, I continue to raise my arm until it's pointed up. If we now look at my hitting arm, once it drops down, I begin to raise it, but I keep my palm facing the court as I bring it up, and I continue to bring it up until I get it to the L position. If we watch these two things together, my arms separate, they drop down together, and then they rise together at the same time until my tossing arm is extended up in the air and my hitting arm looks like an L. This is Bob Bryan at the beginning of his service motion, and we're going to show you a sequence of four pictures to demonstrate how his arms start together, separate, drop, and rise together. Now in this first picture, his arms are together, but now his arms have separated and dropped down. Now his arms have begun to rise. He's holding the tennis ball in his tossing arm in his fingers, and he's bringing the racket up with his hitting arm, but he's keeping the palm of his hitting hand facing the court. Now he's virtually completed his preparation. He's tossed the ball, and he's continuing to raise his tossing arm. He'll probably raise it a little bit more, and he's got his racket and his hitting arm in an L.